you know, <clears throat> I didn't watch the Super Bowl like everybody else did. Did, but at the same time, I'm type like this. I have become what you could say a a huge fan of this ge this gentleman right here. That's uh, Philadelphia Eagles center, number 62, Jason Kelsey. And when I heard his speech, I, I, it's been played all over social media, especially here on YouTube. Um, I mean, man, the first thing that basically caught my eye was the outfit that he wore, and particularly this, the turban that he wore. Now, yeah, I know the, the green colors and I see the shamrocks and all that stuff, you know, it's symbolic of that of Ireland or, or whatever. But in a, in a way, not really in a way, it's factual that, you know, that this, this type of thing right here goes to show that, you know, that it was Moorish influence over Ireland because I've said many a times that Ireland um, was once part of the Moorish Empire. And the first thing when I heard Jason Kelsey give this, um, that hell of a speech on, on top of the, the building where they got the Rocky Balboa statue in Philadelphia, all my, all my brothers and sisters from Philly, y'all know what I'm talking about. Because, like, I personally, I got a lot of love for Philadelphia, man. Everybody I, I meet from Philadelphia, I get goosebumps over goosebumps. It's the same way I get them when I meet people, meet brothers and sisters from Chicago, when I meet them from California, or you know, like Oakland or Houston or, or Dallas or Charlotte or Atlanta, and even New York or Cleveland or either Ohio, either way. But with Philadelphia, even in D.C., even Philadelphia. Philly, man, the people there are just about as real as they get. It's a, like a mirror image of some of the people, some of the brothers and sisters here in Miami, you know. And Jason, and see, I wanted to talk about this with Jason Kelsey, um, because this is whether you want to know it or not. This is like more Tire. I mean, you know. You look at the turban right here. Everybody want to say, I've heard Skip Bayless, or should I call him Shrimp Bayless? Because he, he, Skip Bayless is just a, a disgruntled-ass cracker if I've ever heard one. Um, <laughs> you know, saying it was Aladdin and all that stuff like that. I say, wait a minute. Let me sit back and let me look at this and let me study the attire, what he going on like you know everybody was saying it with Mardi Gras and all that stuff yeah it could be but you know what I believe Jason Jason Kelsey wore this for a reason I believe he wore this for a reason and it was just not just to celebrate um the Philadelphia Eagles very first NFL championship you know in 52 years 52 years Y'all talk about Cleveland in 50 years? No, Philadelphia hasn't had a championship from their football club in 52 years. And yes, before anybody comment, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, we see we see the sellout. Um, Malcolm Jenkins back there. I could care less about him. We haven't forgotten about him though. But I'm gonna tell you something. When he gave that speech at Philadelphia, let me tell you something. That's that's about the real realest as it gets realist as it get now also you know he's also the older brother of um travis kelsey who played tight end for the kansas city chiefs you know but i found that i was finding this very very interesting and stuff like this you know i know a lot of people would hit me up on my emails you know wanted me to do a video on um school shooting uh, down there in Park in Parkland in Coral Springs, which is not too far from me. Um, I'm still gathering facts on that, but that's that's for a whole nother video. And my uh, my my take on this, when, when I do that one, what I'm gonna tell you on there is gonna really blow your ass away. 
But but the attire, it just goes to show like Ireland was once part of the Moorish Empire. And, you know, because like, you know, we, we control that whole thing right now. Because you go to Ireland right now, you see a lot of um, African, Afrocentric like influence there. You know, hell, there's even a couple of pyramids there in Ireland that are older than the Pyramid of Giza, which most of the people in the so in the so-called conscious community, quote unquote, think they know. You know, but you got pyramids there, there in Ireland, and you know, with the green and all this stuff like that. This is really, really more attire if you really look at it. It's not nothing clownish. It's not nothing foolish. This is like a symbolic of mostly royalty. Yes, you see the shamrocks. Yes, you see that. Who knows? Jason Kelsey and his brother may be may be of Irish descent. Once again, you know, because when it comes down to the Irish, like, I mean, yeah, no doubt they, they weren't um what I'm trying to say. Wasn't necessarily accepted as being quote unquote white. Because keep in mind, people, white is not a race or a nationality, and neither is black. Okay, that's a that's a that's a that's that's a status in a caste system, caste societal system. Okay, you you know because in the 1940s, like when they came over here to the so-called United to the United States Corporation, um, they weren't even accepted by the by the by the other Europeans, they you know they could they didn't consider them white until later on. You read the book of how the Irish became white will tell it all to you. Because when a you kill an Irish person when they were burnt kill the Irish person when they were burnt alive or burnt to death, they their skin was was brown and they had curly hair. You know what I'm saying? That book could tell you all that. It's another book out there. I can't remember right now at the top of my tongue, though. But let me. I did some research on Jason Kelsey uh, last night, and I found something very, very interesting. Let's let me go here. You know, I could always go to Wikipedia. <laughs> Jason Kelsey was born November fifth. This was a reason why why the frequency I got from him was so strong. He's a Scorpio, my, like myself, you know. Although, you know, he, he November 5th, 1987. So he was born the day I the year I graduated high school. So as of right now, he's like 30 years of age, young man, you know. So I, you know, I got him beat by thirty years. So, I got him. I got him beat by by thirty years. You know, and the way he grew up at Cleveland Heights, Ohio. Not to all my Ohio people, I'm not too familiar with Cleveland Heights. If you if you from there, you can leave a comment down in the sections because I I like to know more about. Over there in Cleveland Heights. I don't know nothing about that. You know. What's the demographic there or, or whatever. But. You know. Went to Cincinnati. And, and so on and so forth. So like with Jason Kelsey. You know. And, 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 and it's ironic. He wears this. It's in, And it's in Philadelphia. You know, Philadelphia, seven, um, not 1774, but this is where the Continental Congress was, was established at. Because I told y'all, these Super Bowls, the NBA Finals, the Stanley Cup, the World Series, all these are rituals. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand something. These are rituals. The thing between the Eagles and the Patriots, what you were looking at is European imperialism versus the Continental Congress. AKA the indigenous peoples, AKA the Moors. And I think what Jason Kelsey wore that day when he gave his speech, the turban, everything else, 
he gave a trip. He he was giving a shout out and acknowledging the Moors. That's why we weren't too mad about when he said the speech. In fact, I love it. In fact, right now I'm sitting up here right now with goosebumps all over me and stuff like that, just waiting to play what he said. And yes, it was laced with the occasional f bomb. <laughs> I got you got a lot of people from Philly, man. I mean, exclude those idiots who was up there turning over cars, burning up cities, and that asshole who was eating horse shit and all that. They they don't count. You don't you know they they don't count, but. Same time is understandable because I've heard it all the time from people in Philadelphia, people that's not from Philadelphia, but, you know, they talk all the time, particularly in, from New Yorkers. Talking about saying Philly people are scum. That city is dirty. Da, 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 da. The people are just low lies. Da, 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 da. You know what? They say the same thing about 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 the people down here in Miami. Miami, oh, they rude. Uh, they don't know how to speak no English. They in reference to the thirty five percent Cuban community, which is totally outnumbered by other demographics here. Because in defense of that, let's get some of the record straight. Cubans don't run shit down here, and we all know who run the show here. You know, on the surface, they may look like they call the shots on the economic and the political status, but they don't. The Ilion situation showed you who runs shit. But this ain't about about the corporation known as the city of Miami or the corporation known as the city of it's a, the city of Philadelphia, because, you know, it's the city of Philadelphia. It's a corporation. You know that, right? But. At the same time, but Pennsylvania itself is a commonwealth. It's a commonwealth, just like Kentucky, just like Massachusetts, and um, just like Virginia. You know, and they're not too far from the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C. But... This would be, no doubt Jason Kelsey wore this as a you know a tribute to us, a tribute to the Moors. Cause like I say, it's a ritualistic. That Super Bowl speech, ritualistic. Because like, um, what's coming up in the next couple of weeks, next month? What's coming up next month? St. Patrick's Day, right? St. Patrick's Day is one of the days I don't celebrate. Because that was the day that that the murderer of St. Patrick. Oh, by the way, that happens to be the middle name of Thomas Brady. You know, the cheater. Thomas Patrick Brady. Tom Brady. Yeah. Because St. Patrick was the one who killed off the Trois. And he also drove the, quote unquote, you often hear, the snakes out of Ireland. And he met the Nay Goose. He met the snake people met us. You know, throw the moors out of Ireland. But guess what? When they wanted to, when they wanted to sail through the Barbary Coast, moors still controlled that too, and you had to pay us a tax. But I'll get into details on that on another day. Anything that's mentioned with the Barbary Coast, you best believe they're talking about the moors. All you got to do, but if you want to get a quick lesson on that, watch Pirates of the Caribbean. And take a look at Captain Jack Sparrow, you know, or that movie where Tom Hanks got hijacked by the uh, pirates. I don't hate to say pirates, by the brother, by the Somali brothers. That's a symbolic gesture of, of Moors running the Barbary Coast. But like I say, I, I like Travis Kelsey, and you know what he said was real, what said was impassionate, and all that. Now before. Before I go on like this, I don't want none of you um, so-called uh, conscious community coons, you RBG guys who just trying to get YouTube likes and <clears throat> be popular on YouTube 
and ain't really putting in no work in real life. Ain't doing doing nothing to try to help uplift humanity. More importantly, uplift your people in real life. And you don't want to know about a part of history, what you're seeing right here. A part of our history, really. And this man here paying tribute to it. In a city where the Continental Congress was established and paying tribute to the Moors. Whether y'all want to know it or not. Now, I could be wrong. But if I'm wrong, then, you know, prove it. Shut me up. Anyway, I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to leave y'all uh, with this. With that said, just want to pay, you know, happy holy day to all Islam to the Moors, Islam Moors. Happy Holy Holy Muslim Day every Friday. More importantly, I want to give a happy birthday, born day, to the brother Huey P. Newton, co-founder of the Black Panther Party for self-defense. And y'all go ahead and go see the movie Black Panther, man. Don't tell me nothing about it. I don't want to know about it. I'm going to go see it myself. And yes, I will be wearing my fez. Or my turban, like what Jason Kelsey's wearing. Believe that. With that said, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. No more talk, peace and love. I'm going to leave y'all with this.
It's a quote in the old line room that has stood on the wall for the last five years. Hungry dogs run faster. And that's the scene. The bottom line is we wanted it more. All the players, all the coaches, the front office, Jeffrey Lurie, everybody wanted it more. And that's why we're up here today. And that's why we're the first team in Eagles history to hold that freaking trophy. It's y'all, Philadelphia. For 52 years, y'all have been waiting for this. You want to talk about underdog? You want to talk about a hungry dog? For 52 years, you've been starved in this championship. Everybody wonders why we're so mean. Everybody wonders why the Philadelphia Eagles aren't the nicest fans. If I don't eat breakfast, I'm fucking pissed off. <laughs> Definitely a Scorpio. I'm the same way. No one wanted us. No one liked this team. No analysts like this team to win the Super Bowl. And nobody likes our fans. And you know what? I just heard one of the best chants this past day. And it's one of my favorite and it's new. And I hope y'all learn it. Because I'm about to drop it right now. You know what I got to say to all those people that doubted us, to all those people that counted us out, and to everybody who said that we couldn't get it done? What my man Jay and John just said, fuck you. <laughs> yes.